Hi everyone, welcome to the Morgan Homestead. Today I'm just going to do a, a quick video on a, an automatic chicken feeder build that I was thinking about doing. Currently we have a feeder that's hanging on a shepherd's staff. It, uh, it's good for a couple days. The only thing is, is it's open and with it hanging out in, in the run like it is, if it were to rain, the food gets wet and mushy. So I, I kind of want to build a, a, a different type of feeder. It's an automatic feeder that will hold a little more food, but also have a cover on it so when it rains it doesn't get wet. So I'm going to take you over the area that I'm going to be building it on and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so it's just going to be a pretty simple build. Um, and I'm just going to take a, an old bucket, pail that I have laying around, um, an eye bolt, just some... Just, extra eye bolt I had also just laying around two nuts that fit this eye bolt and two washers and a block of wood tools I need are going to be a drill with a, uh, some bit the, the drill bit that I'm going to be using a hole saw it's a 7 8 hole saw it's about the right size for the eye bolt that I'm going to be using. You can use whatever eye bolt you want, um, but you'll have to adjust the size of the drill bit you're going to use. And then a, a wrench to tighten the bolts down. So first I'm going to start off with drilling a hole directly in the, in the center of the bucket on the bottom. Like I said, this is going to be a pretty simple build. And then I'm going to take the eye bolt and stick it down inside the bucket so that it hangs out the bottom. I'm then going to take one nut and one washer. I'm going to run the nut up on the eye bolt. going to run it up a ways um, to about where I think I want the block to set. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the center on the block and I'm just going to do that quick here and just go corner to corner. My block is, block I'm using, you can use whatever size block you have. Um, the block I have is a 3x3 three three, so I can just draw a line from corner to corner and again draw a line corner to corner and get about where the center is now I'm going to drill my hole right in the center so the eye bolt that I'm using is a 5 16 diameter bolt so I'm going to use a drill bit that's slightly bigger than that I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a we have some young roosters. They're just starting to crow. So now that I have the hole drilled, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this block up on there, up to the bolt. Or wait, actually, I did that wrong. I wanted to add a washer here first. So I'm going to go ahead and add the washer on top of the bolt. And you can turn your block down onto that. Take the other washer. 
washer, another nut, tighten that back up to the block. That could just be finger tight. Like that. Now you have your feeder. So basically you put you fill your your put your feed in the bucket and it, the feed will come down through this hole and land on this block. And as the chicken comes up and pecks on the block, it'll knock feed down and onto the block and onto the ground, and then they can peck pick it off of the ground. But that's it. I'll put it together here, get it hung up, and show you how it works. But that's all there is to it. I might need to adjust the block up or down, in my case most likely up, to put the block a little closer to the hole so the feed doesn't drop so far to the block. But we'll give it a test. I'll, get, I'll hang it up, get some feed in it, and see how it works. Thank you.